and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you what I'm packing in my hospital bag. Now this is our fifth baby, so I've kind of figured out what I want to make sure I have in my bag and then the things that I end up really not needing. So I'm excited to share with you everything that's going into the bag. I feel like one step closer to being ready for this baby just by having everything pulled together. I feel like once you hit week 30, you're totally game to start packing your hospital bag. It's just something you can mark off the list and not be stressed out about. Okay, let's get started. So first things first, what I pack for baby. So I love having a variety of outfits for our little one just because it's fun to dress them up and take their picture when you're in the hospital room. I have some outfits that are Asher's because this baby's coming the same month as Asher. But I did grab a few new things. I love having the zip up little outfits. I think they're Gerber, yeah. But these are the absolute best. I love having the little footies connected. You can just zip them right up. Especially when their little belly button is still healing. I like being able to have it covered. So that's usually what I go for with, baby, with newborn baby clothes. And then the outfits came with some hats. A little treat for mommy and for daddy. I have a new one coming, but I wanted to make sure I included this. So you could see, I think this is even the old version of what um, they sell now, but it's Milk Snob and it's a nursing cover and I love it. This is a must, okay? If you take anything away from this video, make sure you check out Milk Snob's baby covers. They're so handy and it just makes it so much easier when you're nursing, especially if you're just figuring out how to nurse. It's gonna help so much to give you that privacy that you want so that you can just not stress at all about it. These are little hospital treats that I made up for my nurses. I've done this the past few times. And um, I just make little labels on my computer and then I attached it with some yarn I had and some washi tape I had. Sometimes I do Skittles and Reese's for those nurses that don't like chocolate, but this year we're just, we're going simple. And I like having these just to show the nurses that I appreciate them and all they do for you. Also, I like having these um, for hospital visitors, hospital room visitors, so it's just a nice little surprise. Okay, so I'm kind of doing the non-super important things first, like right here in this section. This is probably just like the special things that I like to have. Um, but these are presents for the big kids, so when they come to the hospital room, I usually like to have something that's from the new baby and they could open it and usually it's something that has a lot of pieces so that um well not a lot of pieces but it has like it gives them an activity to do so maybe when they go home and they're missing mom and dad it's just something to distract them so for asher we did a choo-choo train for the girls we did shopkins and for micah we did paw patrol so just something small, but just to let them know that we love them and something to help distract them. Okay, so these are some blankets that I've used with my other babies. Um, so they're kind of worn, but they're sentimental. And then this is something that I used with Asher for the first time and loved it. I think I got these at Target, but it's the Swaddle Me little burrito thing. <laughs> I don't know. But um, I have a few of those and I have them in the small size and then I also have them in the bigger size because I love them so much. Okay, so we've covered that. Nursing pads. These are a must. Especially when your milk first comes in, you're going to really want to make sure you have something. These are the Lansino, I believe that's how you say it, brand. That's what I always have used. I really like them a lot so I just go for the same thing. They're soft. Um, it helped me to not have any kind of, you know, too much wetness there so you don't get any um, blockage or any kind of issues. Um, they give these to you at the hospital, but I like having my own. So I get some pads that are overnight. Ones that I like so I don't have to like stress about what they're going to offer me. 
Speaking of that topic, um, you're gonna wanna get some granny panties, guys. Yep, get them. You're gonna want them. Okay, straightener, now, this isn't a super necessity for your hospital bag. I can go like washing my hair and then not doing anything with it for like five days. So, I don't think I'll need that, but I'm packing it just in case. I have my makeup bag that is usually always in my purse anyways, just like the basic things I use. And then I have my toiletries bag, and this baby has seen better days. It has been to many places, but it's what I have and it works. So I'll dive more into that so you can see what I'm packing in my toiletries bag. So toothbrush, toothpaste, um, hair ties are also in here in a little Ziploc bag. If you can't tell, I love using Ziploc bags when I pack my bag. It just kind of helps everything stay organized when you're trying to find it. Like if I'm like, Ben, can you find the hair ties? He'll be able to easily get me one. So I like to be a little bit organized. I have a hairbrush, dry shampoo, and some hairspray. And this is probably all I'm gonna do with my hair. Like I probably won't even wash it. Like, cause usually I'm trying to like stay on top of it right now so that when I do go to the hospital, I don't even have to worry about that. And I'll still like how I look in pictures when I look back at these. Um, Secret Weapon Touch Up Cream, I'm loving this right now. Helps smooth my hair out. This is what I put in it when it is wet deodorant and then I have my toiletries um, some of these things I use right now but I didn't want to have to have my face wash my toner my lotion going in and out of my bag so I have those already packed so I have ones in my bathroom I use and then um, I have these ready to roll over here I just wanted to share with you what I'm packing clothes wise for me Okay, so I'm trying not to shake my camera too much, but it's a little bit tricky doing this when you're a pregnant lady and you're out of breath. Constantly, I packed some loose pajama pants. This is Gilligan O'Malley brand from Target, and I think this is too. Um, they're in the pajama section. I like having something that's very loose and comfy to wear in the hospital room when you're ready to change out of your hospital gown. I have a robe. I also have this hospital gown. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use it this time, but it was nice to be able to change out of the one that they had me first in, and then just have something that's a little bit more comfy and cute. Okay, so these are the nursing tanks that I wear as soon as I have the baby and I decide to actually put some clothes on. Um, these are the tanks that I've worn with a few of my babies. I think this black one I got new, but I have a bunch of them, but I'm only packing two for the hospital bag. Love these, okay? So I get them at Target. I believe they're Gilligan O'Malley too. They are just the best that I found. I love nursing in them. So I'll wear this um, when I first have the baby, just so that I can have some coverage. Um, but it's very loose and sometimes I'll just, so I'll wear either that little sweatshirt over it or I'll wear a t-shirt. So I like to pack just like a plain comfy baggy shirt. And then when it comes to going home outfits or let's say I just wanna put real clothes on, um, I like to bring, here's a short sleeve shirt that's kind of baggy and then here's a long sleeve shirt that's kind of baggy. And then I have my maternity blonky leggings that I love because it really just gives you that security and it kind of helps support you and smooths everything out as you're recovering and healing. And yeah, so all here's, you can see this is the maternity one. Um, and then I end up wearing their postpartum one because I love how it comes up high on me when I'm nursing and it helps continue to just smooth everything out. Um, as far as what's going in the hospital bag, that is it. So all of this will fit into this. <laughs> The last thing I want to show you guys is this tub that I have ready for whoever ends up watching our kids. Ideally, it's my mom, but let's say she's not in town. Our backup mama will be able to use this little bin. In here, I have some little blind bags. So when it is needed, it says a little present for each kid, open when you want or need. So let's say they get home from the hospital, or let's say we are still at the hospital having the baby, they can bust this out and kind of be a good distraction. I have some sweet snacks, salty snacks, diapers and wipes, just to make it really easy with Asher. And then, my kids are very capable of getting themselves dressed, but I don't want my mama who is helping take care of the kids to stress at all about what to 
put them in when she brings them to the hospital. So I have girl clothes and I have boy clothes. And there you go. So um, yeah, I, I like that idea just to make it really easy but also I love that first picture and video of when the siblings meet their baby brother or sister. So I like to kind of just have a, you know, have some cute outfits planned. I'm sorry if the video is bumpy. I'm seriously always out of breath and I was trying to hold it and talk and show you everything at the same time. But I hope this was a helpful video for those of you who are packing your own hospital bag. I'm wishing you all the luck in your own pregnancy and delivery and I can't wait to share with you guys when baby boy actually decides to make his arrival. If you guys found this video helpful, I hope that you give me a thumbs up and please subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos. I can't wait to share lots of new baby videos and how life is gonna be with five kids it's gonna be crazy, but it's gonna be fun. And we can't wait to take you guys along on the journey with us. All right, bye.